This is V's pedal reviews. Today we have the Boss Combo Drive BC2. Well, the Vox AC30 is a pretty famous amp, obviously. But, you know, I've actually never heard one totally cranked up. I don't own one. They're pretty cool, though. I've played them, you know, around. But, uh, from what a lot of people say, this is supposed to be the Vox AC30 cranked in a box. A box in a box. But to me, my ears, and just the average, you know, kind of rock and roll player, this sounds definitely more like a Marshall to me. It's pretty, you know, obviously pretty simple. It's a boss pedal. But it, to me, it sounds great. It's almost more of a distortion at times than on overdrive, but that's just to me, and that depends who you ask. Uh, so what we have is obviously pretty simple. Uh, level for your volume, bass for your bass, treble for your, you know, your highs, and then your sound. Your sound is a little more than a gain on this one. The clean is supposed to make your, you know, kind of like your clean tone, more like a Vox AC30 is kind of clean. What it does is kind of it's kind of color your clean sound. Here's there's my clean tone, and here's without it. By the way, I am playing my Gibson Flying V and then my Fen uh, Fender Hot Rod Deville 410. Uh, here is my just my regular clean tone, my neck pickup. By the way, I just have a touch of reverb. Um, there's just my fenders, uh, regular kind of clean. Eh, sorry. <laughs> Here's the uh, comma drive, just kind of clean. You can tell where it says sound. Clean, crunch, and what is that? Drive. That was my pants. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> Definitely a little kind of uh, softer than my regular clean tone. I'm going to turn that up a little bit. Alright, that's the combo drive. Here's just my Fender's Hot Rod DeVille's kind of clean. Here's the combo drive. Is clean. <laughs> I can hear and plus the way I have it that's actually turning that up all to 12 that actually kind of color uh, colors my sound just a little bit when I can hear it's definitely just a little different than my fenders clean tone I hear just a little more, almost like a middle, and it doesn't even have a middle control, it has a bass under treble. I'm now going to turn the gain up just a little bit, I'm going to turn my volume back down so it's a unity with my clean fender. That actually sounds kind of like an AC30 from what I remember. Wow, 
Wow, it's a total failure. I played this song in, I don't know, years. Sorry about that. I really don't know anything Vox related besides Queen and, you know, the Beatles, obviously. And I don't know too much of the stuff, unfortunately. I love them, but don't know them on guitar. But anyway, okay, I'm now going to take it up to about three quarters. Around there, just a little before the crunch. Still, I have the bass and the treble at 12. I'll be moving those in a little bit. Bluesy Crunch. Here's my neck pickup. I'm gonna add a little more reverb. Okay, so I added a lot of reverb. Now I'm going to take the gain up all the way to the crunch, to the 12 o'clock position. It adds quite a bit of gain just from that small kind of increment. Sounds pretty good, just kind of halfway in the middle on the crunch. Before I go any further on the gain, I'm going to actually mess with the bass and treble now. I'm going to add a little more bass where I add some more treble. About right there. Add, you know, a little more than half. That still sounds pretty good. It's a little rougher, a little more kind of grit, I feel, and I hear. Um, okay, now I'm going to add some treble, and I'm going to back off some of the bass. Not all of it, though. About right there, and about right there on the treble. <laughs> Sounds pretty good. Now I'm actually gonna kind of set the bass a little lower and like I kind of had it in the beginning of the video. Kind of right there. And now I'm gonna add just a little more crunch. <laughs> Gets a little more sustaining on feeling. Yeah, 
sounds pretty tough. I like it. All right, now I'm going to take the gain about right there. Then uh, finally, I'm just going to take it all the way. But first, I'm actually going to mess with the EQ just a little more. I'm going to take the bass back up here, but I'm going to add quite a bit of treble. Right? Right around there. <laughs> Yeah, to me, definitely by this point, it sounds more like a Marshall. Definitely a kind of rock and roll kind of thing. Um, what I can definitely say about it, it definitely sounds pretty dang good for, you know, a boss kind of analog pedal. It definitely sounds just like, you know, what's kind of advertising, an amp in a box. Maybe not an amp in a box, but definitely kind of like an amp, like Marshall Channel in a box. So if you don't really like, maybe like, say, your Fenders, almost like my DeVille. Like, you don't like your DeVille's, uh, or Fenders. Any kind of, you know, clean amp like that, but has an overdrive channel, and you don't like that. This is not bad for, you know, kind of a different, almost Marshall-y... English amp kind of voicing kind of thing. But anyway, back to the pedal itself, rambling on. I'm now going to set everything back to 12 EQ-wise. And now I'm just going to take this bad boy all the way to max. Going to max out the game. <laughs> That's where I kind of like my combo drive. Uh, definitely just all the way the gain up, and it doesn't even sound almost like a box anymore. It sounds like a box with like a Marshall thing built into it. That's what I keep saying, Marshall. That's you know kind of my point. It in my ears, it doesn't really sound like the box AC30. It definitely sounds more like a JCM or something. Uh, definitely a great overdrive. Before I go, I'm actually gonna leave that right there, the game where it is, and just kind of mess with the treble a little bit. Actually, gonna have it where I had in the beginning. My name is Jeremy V, and thank you for watching. <laughs>